Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this uh, edition, being the fifth episode of the topic uh, binary operation. Uh, in this very episode, we want to treat some properties of binary operation, beginning with the commutative property. Before we start, if you are new, consider subscribing to the channel, like also on Facebook, Tazonomy Online Mathematics, share and comment your thoughts. We know 4 plus 3, the result will not be different from if the 3 comes before the 4, that is the arrangement, the order in which the numbers are arranged, does not affect the result. So this will be 7, then 3 plus 4 will also be what? 7. That is it. So we know that addition is commutative. Then if we take multiplication, which could be 5 times 3, 5 comes before the 3. So if I change the order of the numbers, which is 3 times 5, the results will not be different. So I could also say this is going to be 15 is equal to 15. So here also, multiplication as an operation is also commutative. Then if I take subtraction as in 7 minus 4, we are saying that if I change the result, the, if I change the order, the results will not be different. So I can say 7 minus uh, 4 will give us 3. 4 minus 7, since the 4 is less than 7, we have a negative value of negative 3 and since 3 is not equals to negative 3 we can say that subtraction is not commutative we can use subtraction to explain commutative property then similarly if i have 4 divided by 2 i should expect the answer to be the same if i change the order of the numbers 4 divided by 2 will give us 2 2 divided by 4 will now be 1 over 2. So since 2 is not the same as 1 over 2, we can also say that division sign or division operation is not commutative. So similarly as we are saying that some properties are, some operations are commutative, we want to also explain the commutative property under binary operation, whereby we will be using some operators whose uh, identity will be defined on the right. So in this uh, kind of questions, you can either get your operator to be commutative or not commutative. I can say that the operation, we can let any operation at all. In the first episode, we have listed some of the operations that can be used. So be any binary operation defined over a set X. It could be any set. We say the operation this is commutative. If for any two numbers selected from the set, that is P and Q, belonging to the set, is going to be P operated on by Q. The result will be the same as when Q is operated on by what? P. Meaning the operation remains the same, but the order of the numbers change. The arrangement of the numbers changes. So that is what we can say. So now let's see how we can explain that. If P triangle or delta Q equals to P plus Q plus PQ and A, A star B is the same as A plus 2B, A plus 2B, we have to show whether the operation this or this or even the two are what? Commutative or not. So first of all, let's take this as our marking scheme, beginning with the left, we have the right. So for the left, which is P delta Q, using the definition of the operator, which is going to be P plus Q, we have P plus Q, then plus PQ. That is the operator definition. Now, that is our left-hand side. Let's take the right hand side. So this will be left hand side. We are going to take this, which is going to be Q 
delta P should be the same as the first number plus the second number plus the first times what? The second. So now we are going to compare the left hand side and the right hand side. P, P, Q, Q, P, Q, Q, P. We know by multiplication, as we said, is commutative. So since P delta Q equals to Q delta P, we can see that the operation delta is what? Commutative. So our first operation, as we stated here, is commutative. It can be used to explain a commutative property. That does not mean that every delta in any binary operation is commutative. No. It will become commutative based on the definition of that operator. All right. Then, so for this, let's consider a star b to be a plus 2b then let's take the chain of order b star a should be the same as the first number b plus twice the second number a so now let's compare our left hand side with the right this is a plus this is b plus 2b to a. Obviously, you can see that if a is 1 and b is 2, this will have been 1 plus 2 times 2, 4. This will have been 2 plus what? 2 times 1. The order will have changed. So, we can say that since a star b is not equal to b star a, the operation or star is not commutative it's not a commutative for property good so we can see that to define a commutative property it is always based on the definition of the operator so if the operator is defined well we could either have a commutative property or non-commutative property. Good. I believe you can follow this approach in solving questions similar or in relation with uh, commutative property and a binary operation. Thank you so much for watching. If you like, don't forget to share, like, and comment. Subscribe if you are new. Bye-bye.